Hi, so I just want to show you two cool things to help you while you mark. So the one thing is I always um, back up my things in Google Drive. So I've got all my kids stuff saved in folders that's labeled with their names, uh, usernames, and then it's quite important that there mustn't be subfolders, otherwise this doesn't work. I've then copied this folder into like the root C drive. And I'll show you why this is important now. So the first tip is to actually just search for the file that you're marking. So if you're marking Word, for example, the file that I'm marking now is One Readers. So then I'll search for One Readers, and um, I will just make sure that the view is on Details. That's not the Auto one. It's usually List, I think, or No. I think it's like Contents or something. So I change it to Details. I sort it by folder so that I can actually then see the learner that I'm marking and then I can quickly open up the right one that I want to work on. And then the other cool thing is, here's the other thing, there's a thing you can add on your quick access toolbar called document location, which then helps you just always, if you have more than one document open or I always like keeping the original open as well and referring back to that now and then. Then you don't accidentally carry on marking from the original or you're marking, you're referring to another learner's files or something. That way you can see from the quick access toolbar which learner's files you're marking if the things are named correctly. So um, you can just go to more commands and all commands and then you can go find document location in this list and just add it on this side to be able to make use of that.